All right, let's talk a little bit about how Dropbox works exactly. Uh, as we know, Dropbox is an online file sharing service that you can synchronize multiple files across multiple devices. Uh, so what exactly does that mean? Uh, well, let's say that this is you here and you're at your office computer and you've created a file. Uh, let's say it's a PDF file for uh, you know, a contract or something like that, whatever type of file it is that you're working on. Uh, so you decide you need to access this on the go as you go out into the field or as you go to somebody else's office or as you go home to work on stuff. So this file you create here, you save it into your Dropbox folder. And maybe you have a Dropbox folder called you know, Contracts, or maybe you have a Dropbox folder for each one of your clients, however you decide to set it up. You save it within that Dropbox folder, well, as soon as you put your save, it's going to push that file out into what we call the cloud. And uh, the cloud, people have a little bit of hard time understanding what the cloud is exactly, but uh, the cloud is just a, uh, a server system on the Dropbox network. Uh, that means that uh, your file is going to be stored locally on your office computer, then it's going to be saved on the Dropbox file server network. And as soon as that happens, the next thing that happens is when you use your mobile devices, whether it's maybe an iPad or an Android tablet like this one pictured here, maybe it's a laptop that you use at home and at work and on the go, or maybe it's even your iPhone, what's going to happen is Dropbox is going to make these files available to all these other devices for you automatically. So when you get home, you're working late at the office, decide it's time to go home. Uh, when you get home and log on to your laptop computer, uh, Dropbox is going to have that file available for you to view and look at and edit and do whatever you want to do with it. Also, say you're going to go to a client's office and, and start discussing the uh, contract or something like that, and you have your iPad or your Android tablet, uh, well, you can log into your Dropbox on the Android tablet and pull up that same PDF file that you're working with at the office, and you can see the exact same file on your mobile. Same thing with your iPhone down here. Anything you do at the office computer is going to go out into your iPhone for you and have it available for you to use automatically there. Now these arrows are all going this direction, but at the same time, you can imagine these arrows being reversed and going back the other direction. Let's say you decided to work on that contract at home and you made some changes to it here and saved it on your office com or I'm sorry, on your home laptop computer. Well, as soon as you push save, these arrows are going to reverse and it's going to send that revised version back into the cloud. Then that revised version is going to be made available to the Android tablet to the iPhone and to the office computer all automatically without you having to do anything other than save it uh, from that laptop computer at home where you've been working on the file. So this is pretty handy. Uh, we're talking about using it for real estate photos today, but you could use it for any type of file that you uh, work with in more than one location or that you'd need to access in more than one location. I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy for me uh, as somebody who works out of his vehicle a lot and is on the, on the field, in the field and on location quite a bit, uh, it's just really invaluable to be able to have access to some of my important files while I'm on the go.